Hello and welcome, Jonathan Bradshaw here with this week's Meteorology Minute. Now, if you've been following these Meteorology Minutes over the last few weeks, you'll know I've been all over the place speaking on Meteorology, North and Central America as well as places in Europe. And it's caused a problem which I want to address this week because I'm pretty sure you probably have the same issue too. I've ended up with hundreds of business cards. I've been to seven or eight business events around the world and I've met lots of people, which is a good thing. I've got to follow up with them. But what do I do when I meet them again? How am I going to remember their names? Because you and I both know that if we meet someone we haven't seen for weeks or months or even years, and we can extend our hand and address them by their first name, that is an amazingly bonding experience. It helps us connect with them straight away. So this week I want to give you five insights, things that I do in this situation that have helped me in the past remember people when I've met them again. The first suggestion would be to get a business card. You know, these days with digital technology, we don't need to, do we? Sometimes we can swap digital information just by touching our phones together or using an app. Well, I suggest you do get a physical business card. They can be really useful psychologically to help you remember people and discussion points later on. And the second point relates to having a business card because it is to write on it. Yes, if you look at most of these cards, there'll be something about the person, there'll be the topics we discuss, or there'll be perhaps more powerfully a uh, point about where we met, where were we when we met, what was the room physically like. That psychologically can really help me link the person and remember them because I'm looking around for the visual clues that are given to me by my own personal notes. It just has to be two or three words, not very much. The third point would be to keep them all together. So you've got a business card, you've written on them. If you see these, you may have noticed, they're all clumped together with a post-it note on and an elastic band to keep them together. These are all in the order of uh, events that I met people in. So I went from San Fran to Vegas to Toronto to Panama to Rome. These are all in the order of the event I met people in, clumped together. So all the people I met together are also together um, in, in groups. And it links to point number four, because I have these people in chronological order within the event that I met. It might sound a bit strange, but my word, it helps me remember people. So this is San Francisco, the first place I went on the recent trip. And this person will be the first person I met at the San Francisco event. And then going through, I will have met card number two, three, four, five, six. Now, the method of Lockheed is an old memory aid that you can use, whereby you go through in your mind's eye a the actual event and remember people, names and, and topics, by having a journey to go on. It's a really interesting memory aid, and I will be able to, slowly but surely, remember each of the events and who I was speaking to, because I've put them in the chronological order of um, when I met them. And that links to point number five. It's to regularly review the cards concerned, go on the journey in your brain to help all these people, the details of them, go into your long-term memory. I can now shut my eyes and the events I went to in, in March or April, the first domino is the first card which I'll look at, and then I can generally go through, in my mind's eye, people I met. If I do that long enough, or many, uh, numerous times, it can really help me get their names into the long-term memory. So when I meet them next time, I can remember who they are and where we met. It's very, very powerful. So get, a, let me recap, get a business card, point number one. Write details about that person, what you spoke about, or where you met them. Clump all the cards together. When you keep them, I suggest I've got boxes of business cards, you keep them together, depending on what the event was you met them. Pull them all together. Keep them in chronological order. So the people you met first, have the cards first, and literally in that order. And then finally, review them regularly to try and get the names, the discussion points, and the place you met them into your long-term memory. I want to quickly do a shout out to Bob Gray, my friend in Toronto, who's a memory expert, who certainly has advised me some of these things over the years. Bob's a great guy, a really interesting guy. Look at Memory Edge for um, Bob's details about what he does. But I hope those five areas are useful. They're practical, they're easy, and let me tell you, they really are very, very powerful. They've helped me remember most people's names over the last few years. If I see you next time and I don't remember your name, please forgive me, I'm doing my best, but I hope that's useful to you. And even just a little bit, 
of an insight into how to remember people's names more effectively. I'm back in a week's time with some more meteorology, the fantastic and fascinating science behind exceptional interpersonal communications. See you in seven days. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.